Hello everyone, my name is Shep and welcome back to not the Butcher's Circus, but actually Darkest Dungeon 2. So let's get straight into it. I got this game, you know, a few days ago, only now if I had the opportunity of recording it. Uh, let's roll the intro, see what it looks like. I do hope it sounds good enough. I feel like the FPS is a bit messy, but I've heard everyone's been having that problem. My friend. Our calculations were correct. The ephemeral equation is unbalanced. The Earth spins on a strange and terrifying new axis. And everywhere, unbridled consequence. The world is a wasteland of failures past. And yet, you must ride out into it. Unafraid. Take this. It is hope. The very last of it. It is yours now. You were bold once. Be bold once more. Free yourself from this suffocating stillness. Fix your gaze on the horizon. And face the fearsome truth of the darkest dungeon. Of the darkest dungeon. Uh, Wayne June really has a good voice, doesn't he? Alright. Let's do it. So, I'm, I'm gonna see. You have cowered in your crumbling denial long enough. I'm gonna see if I can find out a way of um, making the FPS a little better <laughs> because at the moment it feels like I'm playing uh, the the 30 road. FPS. Wait for the lantern's light and welcome what help may come. So yeah, this is my second run. So I've I've already uh, done a run before and it it, it did not go very well. Um. Yeah, basically I got to the second dungeon and then I just collapsed entirely because of uh, afflictions and whatnot. But this one, I'm I'm pretty sure it will go better. So now we're gonna try using the Hellion. I've heard she can be beneath blood, lust, and fury. Well, she can be a, a swinger, a swinger, and shame, or a miss. Wait, what? She can be hit or miss. Yeah, she can be very, very hit or miss. Let's look at the traits. Uh, Pastures, Explorer. Hmm. Wonder what that does. Breacher, Combat Start, Full 3, 2. What is this? Well, yeah, I've, I've heard so many people talk about, like, oh, Breacher, everyone, Breacher, so strong. I, I don't have. I really don't know what that means, but we'll see. Ah, uh, that one's not that, that, that big. Uh, tough is okay. Daredevil. Hmm. Yeah, that one's kind of rough. On guard, pretty good. Head injury. <laughs> okay. Yeah, not great. Alright, looks like the trades aren't terrible though. Yeah, let's get into it. Also, very funny that in the introduction, you saw like the paper with the blue thing going over it, like the stress symbol. It went from right to left. Normally, it went from left to right in Dark Ascension 1. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a tidbit uh, for you fellas. You came see if we can, like, reduce the quality or dead. something. Because the FPS... Okay. Yeah, quality down. Please, my friend. Fix. Okay, it's at low now. Still looks pretty good, but I think, yeah, the FPS has improved. Alright. Yeah, game still looks uh, dapper. I have, I have to admit, the game is looking really nice. We're gonna try to go as far as we can with this. Let us temper this world's cruelty. Bandages are really good. Trinkets. Uh, coach upgrade plus 15% scout chance. Nice. 
Alright, yeah, playing cards are like the best uh, thing ever because you can get a lot of uh, affinities early. Which is really good. There's so much uh, emphasis on actually making your characters have affinities with each other. Your insightful questions during my lectures gave me pause. And I recognized in you yeah, she has conditions, she does more damage. Spirit. She's low on HP, I believe. I think everything's fine so far. Let's give them some trinkets. Fire red and move red. That's not bad. Oh, the FPS is not desirable. Well, I do have a bit of a potato PC, but it's not that bad. It really is the game that uh, doesn't have the best. It's okay, though. It's okay. I'm sure the fights will be totally fine. <laughs> actually, correct me if I'm wrong, but knocking down those bushes, I feel like sometimes they actually give you loot. Uh, if you knock down these bushes and things along the way. I believe. Alright, our torch is at 8. Giving in to madness is easier than holding out against it. They our heroes. That's really good. That's really good. Okay, all are really good. Yeah, getting it affinities is awesome. Forgotten. It is ours now. They were positively filthy. So, it's a bit of a shame that uh, we don't have all the characters in this game yet. Basically, we are we are very, very limited on the amount of characters we have. I really wish we could have like a Houndmaster and a Flagellant, even a Crusader, like, I really miss those. It's just, I'm having to run a Hellion. <laughs> you can feel it. A change in the air. I think we, we run into a fight at the end of this. Each gravestone is more than a failure. It is a promise to do better. Yeah, so this... Oh yeah, here's the map. We can go here. The first fight... Uh, the first um, dungeon... I mean, I don't know how you'd call these... Uh, these new exploration areas. I'm still gonna call them dungeons. The first one is pretty chill, but... Up next, is, it's gonna be... Like, heavy. Heavy duty. This game is rough. Why did I... Oh, did he move forward because of Breacher? Hmm. Maybe. Yeah, I can see the abilities look really good, don't they? I'll just go Wicked Slice. Okay, this mess is looking amazing right now. <laughs> Zero. Yeah, Breacher is looking insane, actually. He also got plus dodge. We're gonna try to turn the Hellion into a tank. She has a really good ability for it later on. I saw a person using it. Another impediment. With impunity. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm not sure if we're gonna make our way to the end. I, I've never, I've never made my way to the end, like the final dungeon. I do suppose that after a while you can get to it. But yeah, we're gonna try to go for as long as we can with these four characters. We're, we're gonna try to make it work. Right, here we are, at the end. Let's get them all settled, give them some playing cards, make them all friends with each other. And get ready for the actual dungeon. This there is like the tutorial. Such as this. We're a right. light They're all a bit gathers. more friendly. Cool, cool. Continue. Yeah. Give them playing cards. Okay. Yeah, well, some of them didn't didn't like it, but I think overall it was good. Yeah. 
Okay, it's only Dismas and um, Audrey that didn't do so well. I'm gonna change their names. Uh, Audrey, what's she gonna be named? I'll, I'll keep thinking about it. Well, let's do the cards again while I think. Hmm. Yeah, overall good as well. Only one that uh, didn't go so well. Friendly mostly. Actually, could we buy more cards? It's just it's just so good. If you can get these uh, virtues. Oh, there's no cards. The yeah, no cards. Unlucky. I don't think you can sell the food. Each improvement, a new variable in the equation of your fate. Okay, plus count chance, not bad. Learn what can be taught. That you may Go to the mastery trainer. Actually, at first, instead of um, upgrading any combat skills, what we're actually gonna do is uh, improve ounce of prevention, because this is gonna reduce your stress on the team every time you use it and we really need it like there's such a big emphasis in this game on reducing stress with that we're gonna be able to make our way to the end essentially so let's embark fight no more than one resistance encounter that doesn't look very good avoid the hospital yeah. modern rain let's do that one resignation and death journey onward let's go barren. I'm still very, very unfamiliar with the locations. Let's see which one you picked. I think this is the combat one. Where there are, there are like trenches and... Yeah. War. Rewards only. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so our goal is to avoid the hospital, right? So let's do just that. Okay, you want to avoid the hospital, you have to go... Oh, Hero's Shrine right away, that's really good. Really good, actually. We can uh, upgrade one of our characters soon. I think I'm going to do it on the Grave Robber. I've been trying to upgrade her for a while. We must understand the past if we are ever to be free of it. Yeah, let's use the Grave Robber. I think I did the first one, and now it's on to the second. Grave robber. Chapter one. Luxury's lap. It's really cool that they have like the story of each character integrated in the game. I think it's Born pretty nice. Into money and married into more. She spent her days on horseback, and her evenings in the ballroom. She was the object of her husband's boorish lust and drunken temper placating his worst tendencies with a veneer of gracious deference, all the while indulging murderous fantasies of freedom and the fortune that would soon be hers. Hmm. Dead of night. Clear corpse. Gain on hit. Whoa. Okay. And stealth. Alright, not bad. Clear corpse, huh? Interesting. Yeah, I guess there's no fight yet. Maybe on, on the next one. Why do they all have red exclamation marks? Combat skills. Uh, yeah, let's equip the items. Why not? Though I, I doubt I'll use them for quite a while. And this one as well. Wait, why are they still... Remove the red thingies. I hate seeing, like, red exclamation marks. Alright. Okay, let's go. So. We have decisions. Two of them want to go to assistance. Oh no, two of them want to go to Unknown. Let's look at the map. Look at the map. So we can't go to the hospital. Occultist encounter is really rough. We don't want to go there. 
Yeah, let's just go to the fight, I think. I think we'll just go to the fight. No, actually, there's a fight on the way to the fight. That will be alright. We're strong right now. You can see that there will be a fight when the road uh, looks weird like this. It looks like fractured or something. That's when it means there's gonna be a fight. Now, what should I name these characters? Actually, you guys could tell me in the description what you want me to name them. I think Dismas uh, could stay Dismas. But, yeah. He's hungry and tired. Plus one stress. As long as we can spread out the stress, the Plague Doctor can heal all of it away. You'll see how just how powerful her ability is. Very, very soon. Probably now. We got some brigands. Yeah, on guard, breacher. This is so weird. Taunt. Okay. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go. No, no, no. That doesn't make sense. Let's just do this. I was thinking that maybe I could want a repost, but yeah. Nice. On to the next. Wow. Two points. Right, now we do this. It's gonna give us lots of resistances as well as clearing stress. Look at those resistances. Not bad. The stress clear is insane. They're barely doing anything. Alright, get him. Eight. Not bad. So, yeah. I think the abilities look pretty cool. They're like 3D or something, I think that's what they're calling them. A breakthrough. I sh should be done for. be honest, I'm really bad at differing 2D from 3D. But, yeah. Oh, a crit. Wow, that's a lot of stress, actually. Damn. I gotta try and clear that still. Look at all those panic darts. Not panic darts, poison darts. Panic darts don't exist anymore. And there's a dodge, immediate. Still have to wait a bit more. Do blinding gas, I suppose. The smallest variable can make all the difference. Okay, there we go. More stress heal. Nice. He's still a bit high. Oh, he gets to go first. Damn. Oh, he misses anyway. Oh, this is gonna be overkill. Yeah. An inkling of potency still lingers in some of these well-worn relics. Ooh, plus 15% max HP. Take that. Who should I put that on? 
Uh, probably the Hellion. Actually, I'm gonna do something that might not make a lot of sense. But I'm gonna put it on the... On the Grave Robber. Why am I putting it on the Grave Robber? Because when she uses Absinthe, it will be much stronger. Yeah, Absinthe is her self-heal ability that she has. She can drink alcohol to make her problems go away. <laughs> Sounds relatable, right? No, don't do that, I'm joking. Forgotten Outpost. And there's a fight, okay. We will overcome. Little wealth can save a lot of trouble here. Oh, that's not a good one. I will know where to strike. Vulnerable to one of them. And story bark resist flee zero seven. <laughs> the best one. Okay. Yeah, I think this one's the best. Oh, she didn't like that. Cowards. Oh, this is a rough fight. Okay, I understand now why they wanted to go away. Oh, he's vulnerable. Oh, he's about to take so much damage. 9 to 18. Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking maybe we go blinding ass. Noxious blast would be good though. Yeah. Hmm. As it stands, the, the Grave Robber, like, she really needs the Poison Darts upgrade to actually be doing well, but we really need to upgrade the Stress Heal ability on the Plague Doctor. I'm fine with it. He has, like, a Flamberger sword. Really cool. Italian's so freaking useless. <laughs> 4 to 7 damage. It's stacking. Slowly. Bentley. Cooperation is the key. Empowered. Emboldened. He'll get to go first before him. Not sure if he'll do 10 damage though. We might. Oh! Nice. Early results are encouraging. Um. Right. Damage is lower now. At last. Uh, can we drink the absinthe for a heal? No, not yet. Do this again. Oh, not even a blight. Oh, they're focusing her down. Oh, I think he's just gonna die next turn anyway. Pretty much. How is he not dead? Got that ability uh, reduced. That store resistance. I really don't understand how that resistance works. He has like a 5% chance of resisting that storm. I don't get it. Another impediment. Cleared with impunity. Good. Could just heal with uh, Plague Doctor. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, it might survive. Ah, oh, it didn't. That's not a bubbles. Strong box. Ooh. For the stagecoach. See if we can use it. The loathing bestures. Stagecoach. Go away, Hellion. I don't think you can do these upgrades outside of the inn. 
for some unknown reason, you're just carrying the strong box around and not using it. <laughs> I don't know. It's whatever. Onward to the next fight. Oh, it'll be an assistance encounter, but you, you understand. Cool, cool. Look at these roads. Up and down. The graphics do look very, very dapper. Even though they're on low quality right now, they still look pretty nice. Desperate view. Now let's see what we can do. Our torch is at 70. We want to keep our torch as high as possible. But, now what is this? Is there enforcement of laws? There's no crimes. Minus torch. Oh, this one's the best, yeah. Plus torch, plus food. Scavenge what you can, and be off once more. Okay, we're going to a fight, then to an assistance encounter. Just remember, we do not want to go to the hospital. Yeah, I think the only two hospital hospitals were here. Let's see if we can clear some stress on this fight. It's kind of interesting that we're just going through the dungeon on a stagecoach in like this 3D fashion. I can definitely see that. Yeah, it looks, it looks interesting. Revel in debauchery, debasing themselves in the face of the end. Okay, run away. Uh, fight and get like, what is that? Plus speed, plus strength. What is this? One debuff, one move. They don't see us. Wow, they were all mutually exclusive. Not very cool when that happens. Wow. Look at all these things that just happened at the start. So difficult to keep up with. I think we really need to kill that. I mean, we need to focus someone down. This is a bleed, right? 6 to 10. Three to six. Oh, it's almost the same. This is the bleed for three rounds, actually. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Do this. There is comfort in company. They do have bleed abilities. Great. There goes our speed. Do this. Finding ass looks awesome, doesn't it? Minimum. Oh, you resisted. Oh. That accuracy did nothing. Just keep attacking. What's his bleed resistance? Actually 40. Yeah. Maybe we shouldn't have been doing that. Let's actually do if it bleeds on this guy. 
It's not the light I'm at. What is that shit that she has in her backpack? Not, not, not her backpack, but like her pouch? What is that? Jesus. I was making some very suspicious noises. The smallest variable I think the game might be a bit too difference. loud, actually. Let's clean it down a bit. Alright, there we go. Okay, you should be almost dead. Let's store. Yeah. What is that? What is she doing? What is she touching? Oh my god. Uh, let's heal her a little bit, I think. A little help impeccably timed. Oh, we're actually only gonna have one round to kill that guy. Because it's gonna be round five. And there's a corpse. Even the greatest of threats. Oh, wait, it isn't a final fight. Okay, okay. Yeah, usually by round five, we need to have everyone killed. For some reason. Oh, damage. Nice. Oh, it's not enough. Well, I guess this is limited to three uses per battle. Yeah, look. Oh my god, that is... The noises it makes. They made it realistic just to creep me out. Also stress as well. Should clear that. Almost dead. An unavoidable end. Yeah. Nice. Cooperation is the key. Messy. But effective. There he goes. On mastery? Good. Another hail draught. Let's use some of those things. The loathing abates. Get this one here, this one here. Yeah. That's good. Oh, how are the relationships looking like? Okay, friendly, friendly, friendly. Nice. A friendly, neutral, friendly, friendly, neutral. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's looking decent. Still a long way to the end. Lost and desperate. They need your help. Oh, I, I was gonna mention it. The similarities between Darkest Dungeon 2 and Eratus, Lord of the Dead. So, if you don't know, I mean, there isn't huge drama. There's not, like, developers going back and forth on, like, some kind of post just, uh... <laughs> Mentioning each other like, oh, we're at this, did this, we're pissed, oh, we're gonna copy strike you or anything. There's nothing like that. The drama isn't as big as what I'm gonna hype it up to be. But there definitely has been a bit of drama because, well, Eratus is a game that's kind of based on Darkest Dungeon 1. Not made by the Darkest Dungeon uh, developers. Like, it has a lot of similarities. It's also the same rogue style explorer game. And obviously, if you were Red Hook, you'd be kind of pissed that uh, they pretty much took a huge amount of inspiration from your game and had a lot of success with it. Oh, relationships tested. In crisis, no Hopeful. Right, not bad. Hopeful, that's a pretty good one. Take all a Molotov and Healing Salve. Healing Salve is really good. We'll use it on the next dungeon, maybe. Yeah. Uh, next, we're gonna go to... 
If that's a hospital, we're screwed. Hmm, where should we go? Here? We must cash moving. into cash into hoarder. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go into the cash. I think that's gonna do some stress on them. Yeah, a bit of stress on Audrey. It, it's it's okay. Yeah. So there's a lot of similarities between the games, um, but Erratus is a very good game, such as uh, just as Darkest Dungeon is a very good game. I'm a very good fan of both, and they're quite different. It's not like it's based on it, but it's very very much different. However, Darkest Dungeon 2 definitely has a lot of similarities with Erratus, so it's like, okay, you copy from us, we're gonna copy right back from you. So just like Erratus, this game has this kind of exploration where you you kind of like start in the dungeon and you keep on going with the same... It's not like you have your main base and you go out into dungeons and come back. It's like you're exploring through the map and making your way to... Uh, the final destination, right? In Aratus, you're trying to reach the surface. In this game, you're trying to reach the darkest dungeon, which is like that mountain, uh, the, the icy mountain. It's kind of your goal, it's to reach that mountain. Uh, so there's that. There's also the art styles, which, I mean, art style is subjective, but in my opinion, I would say that this one looks very, very similar to Aratus in some sort of way. Indeed. There's also blocks, but there's... Um, the like the blocks definitely came from Eratus as well. It's very interesting how, how they decided to copy. And the biggest one, this is the biggest one yet, because all I've been saying is like, yeah, yeah, alright, there's some similarities, but that's totally fine. There's a lot of creative differences. However, they released Darkest Dungeon 2, uh, the early access on Epic Games, they released it on the one year anniversary of Eratus Fall of the Dead. So that's that's a big sign that they were definitely pissed because they chose 26th of October, and that's like that can't be a coincidence. That can't be a coincidence. They could have released it on the 27th. They could have released it on the 28th, on the 25th, but they decided to release it on the day that Eratus makes uh, a one-year anniversary. Of course, there's more similarities. I can't really remember all of them at the moment. Um, but yeah, still, I do believe both game developers are very, very good. And the games are very, very different. Both of them are worth playing. It's not like they're they're mutually exclusive or something. We have to drop some stuff. I'm, I'm gonna drop this uh, moldy food. It's not looking too good. Oh, we definitely want to keep the relics. Let's maybe try to equip some stuff on our guys. Trinkets are looking fine. Combat items, we need to put in some combat items. Actually, I think I might have used all of them already. Oh, it is relatively slow <laughs> moving back and forth with this. Okay, to be honest, these uh, powders are kind of uh, garbage. Kind of garbage. Let's put the healing self in there instead. Stump that. Uh, we can dump the holy water as well. That one's also not very good. And we'll dump that too. Okay. It's alright now. Let's keep going. Yeah, I'm pretty much the only person that's actually talking about the similarities. Not not a lot of people seem to have been mentioning it, but I think it's I think it's funny. It's more of um instead of like it being like kind of a vendetta that Red Hood kinda had, it's like Okay, we're we're gonna we're gonna hint that we did not like your move. It's more like a funny competition, I would say. A Darkest Dungeon 2 early axis. What am I thinking about it so far? What are my thoughts, my opinions on this game? Well, it definitely needs some improvement on the FPS. <laughs> And the the handling overall, Darkest One definitely ran a bit better. What do we think about the new mechanics of like blocks and how the way combat is made? Well, it's in 3D. The abilities look very expressive, but at the same time, I feel like they're a bit less expressive because I don't really feel the crits as much anymore. 
And if you remember in Darkest Dungeon 1, you would get a crit and like, wow, big noise, narrator goes like, a singular strike. If the opponent would get a crit, uh, it would go like, now the true test, hold fast or expire. It's th Some of that is missing here. Some of that is missing here. I also miss the uh, overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer just after you win like a difficult fight. There's There's a lot of stuff that could show up. That hasn't. That's not even the most important part. The most important part is the heroes. Uh, we need more heroes. I don't even have them all unlocked, but I already know that we're gonna need more heroes. Because having only like eight isn't very much. Let's see, combat items. Uh, let's go trinkets. Trinkets are the most important ones. Ooh, damage for the hell in if she's in position one. I don't think like. Oh my god, self on crit, extra action 25%. That looks amazing. I want that. It's way too ex Oh, I'm close, actually. I have, I have only sent enough baubles to buy that. Oh, that's so annoying. Unbelievable. Look at that. Almost, almost have enough to buy that. I don't think you can sell your own stuff. Unfortunately. It's, it's kind of weird because it's a trader and you can't trade. <laughs> oh, what can I say? Yeah, at least I don't think so. I've been trying, but yeah, I really don't think you can sell your own stuff. Can't do a trade at a trader. Oh well. I don't think we are. We are gonna buy anything then. Uh, nothing else is worth it, in my opinion. Let's leave. Keep on going. Ghastly man, the way he was leering. Leering, interesting word. At least the company is good, says Dismas. Yeah. We're gonna need more heroes because on the replay on the replayability scale, um the game feels less grindy than Darkest Dungeon 1. Much less grindy because you're actually exploring through the dungeon. There's decisions that you have to do that do matter a lot. And yeah, it feels less grindy. Whereas in Darkest Dungeon 1, you'd go like. You'd make a team, just go into the dungeon, make some money, and like grind until you unlock the boss, then you fight the boss, and you just move on to the next. It was a bit monotone some of the times. I, f I definitely feel like they fixed that here. This makes no sense. Okay, so she wants to leave. He wants to fight and gives us advantages, which she doesn't like. He wants to fight and gives us and give us stealth, which he doesn't like. And she just wants to fight. And they like it. I'm gonna go for this choice, which I mean, combat-wise it's worse, but uh, in terms of the affinities it's better. Okay, in terms of combat, what do I think about the combat? Like, the mechanics and uh, all that. So, no mischance, there's no longer like an accuracy problem, which I think is good. Accuracy was kind of messed up, uh, the way it was set up. Like, you could miss those 80% chances. You needed to bring accuracy trinkets every time in the base game. Though I didn't really play the base game very much, uh, truth be told. I'm pretty sure that's uh, that's what it was like. If you didn't bring accuracy, it would, it would be kind of messed up for you. So yeah, they definitely fixed that. What else have they fixed? There was the accuracy problem. Grinding feels a bit uh, less bad now. And there, there was something else. Oh, yeah, I remember. At the, at the end of the fights, just um, trying to sustain for a while. It's more difficult to sustain now at the end of the fight because... Well, for starters, you don't have a Vestal to just uh, put out heals every time she wants. And most healing abilities that you have are capped um, either by number of uses or by limited... Um, how, how do I say this? You need to meet a condition to use them. For example, you can use Battlefield Medicine every time you want, but for it to actually heal HP, your character needs to be below a certain threshold. A threshold. Yeah, I think that's how you say it. 
Same thing with uh, Absinthe and other heals. You need to be below a number of HP to actually get the healing portion out of it. Uh, same thing with like stress heal from the um, from the Jester, I think. I think your characters need to be above a certain threshold of stress. So that's that's reasonable as well. Great for 10. Beautiful. Yeah, it's also quite reasonable. Another thing they did was pretty much remove stuns. They, they didn't remove stuns, you can still get stuns, but um, to get stuns now, it's only a few niche abilities that need to function with combos on characters. So you would kind of... I don't have any characters to do here, but... Uh, to use it here, but I think when you use tracking shot, when you upgrade tracking shot and use it on a character, it make it gives them like this combo skull be uh, beneath them, and so you can combo abilities into it, and they'll be more powerful. I think that's pretty much the only way you can get stuns now. It's like that. Not a death blow. Unfortunate. Quite unfortunate. Let's kill that one. A slow dissection. Yeah, which I think is good because uh, stuns are very powerful. Not, I'm not the best person to talk about Darkest Dungeon One PVE gameplay. I'm more of a circus kind of uh, kind of guy, as you should know. But by the time, by the, of the times that I did play in the base game, I remember that it was really, really good to just uh, just use stuns. Is you could prevent the enemy from acting. Uh, the enemy would do much more stress than you would heal, so it would be beneficial for you to just go for a stun instead of trying to heal and sustain. Which is why I didn't like the. Uh, it's a big reason why I didn't like the base game because my strategy was usually just to use a Crusader and Man at Arms and uh, like two Vestals or a Vestal in the chest or something like that. And I would just try to have tanky frontline and try to sustain with my backline, but it was difficult because I didn't put out enough damage or I didn't find a way of... How do I put it? I didn't find a way of doing more damage and healing more than what they would be doing because the opponents do more damage than what you heal, but enough about Darkest Dungeon 1, it's not about Darkest Dungeon 2. There's there's too much emphasis on stress. You need to run a stress heal character if you want to win the match, which I do not think is uh, is good because crits don't heal stress anymore. Healing uh, corpses don't heal stress anymore. And stress is really, 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 really important. Like, unbelievably important. If you start getting these uh, negative affinities, it's, it's almost game over. The, the characters just start just uh, sneering at each other like absolutely insane it's it's terrible you absolutely need to absolutely need to bring a stress healing ability if you actually do want to win the game which makes sense like okay you need to account for all possibilities you need to clear stress right uh, but it really limits the kind of uh, gameplay you can do we also don't have anything like marks at the moment, so we can't like use a bounty hunter and a sniper shot for <laughs> for that kind of stuff. But that's mostly why I didn't play the base game. It just feels like over here I have generic characters which are just throwing their abilities at the enemy until they die. Like the Helen is just attacking, Dismas is attacking. At least at least uh, Grave Robber has has blight, and the Plague Doctor feels like a very well thought out character as well. But, yeah, at least for now, he can use a repast, she can use like her tanky abilities eventually. We'll see if we can make that work later, but... Yeah, I definitely do feel like th there needs to be more characters, so you can make more team ideas. And I also don't don't like very much... Yeah, this is also this was also taken out of Eratus. You unlock characters as you go through the game. This was 100% snatched from uh, Eratus. Uh, in there, after you would complete like game difficulties, you would unlock more and more characters. And also, like after uh, performing certain uh, certain tasks, like uh, 
I can't recall exactly, but uh, imagine that you would kill a certain enemy, and if you kill that enemy like five times, you get to unlock this character. Which was annoying, but it's kind of like a progression system. Same thing here, you need to get through the levels, get higher in the levels to unlock more characters, which, again, it's annoying, but I do suppose it's a progression system. I, I don't really like it very much, because it kind of limits the the variety you have at the, at the beginning. As well as you can't unlock every build yet to start, you need to you need to go through the hero shrines to actually unlock the abilities, which is again also very annoying, in my opinion. Because you want to get the better abilities, but you just can't, they're locked behind. Uh, they're, they're locked behind something that you need to do first. It's not like you, you can pay for them like you could in the base game. Just go to the guild and then you can upgrade them as, as you progress. Not quite like that. Also, the characters feel like they're moving in slow motion, don't they? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Let's get this, this should be a kill. Almost. Uh, the bite will kill him. No worries. Let's do the ounce of prevention. Cooperation is the key. Clear some stress. In Did he get a buff? Impervious. Stun resistance. Yeah, but that doesn't really matter anymore. Oh, uh, stun resistance. Not really, because they nerfed stuns to the ground. So, there's that. Also, I really do hope that... I mean, it's gonna take a long while for them to make a Butcher Circus for uh, this game. I've heard some people saying that it could be named something like the Coliseum of Doom. Honestly, Coliseum of Doom sounds like a really cool name. It sounds dapper. But, yeah. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, they need to, uh, they need to release lots of characters. They need to finish the game. And then, and only then, will they probably stop thinking about the multiplayer. And how would multiplayer actually work <laughs> with these with these kinds of abilities? Because some people would argue like, okay, there's no miss chance now, and uh, the crits are like, you have stacks and you can use them, you can plan out the game a bit more, you have like these dodges, you can use cards, you can get more damage next round, that kind of stuff. But I would say the RNG is even worse. Like, even worse. And I would say it's much worse than it was in Butcher Circus. Because if if this was to go into multiplayer right now, you get abilities that give you a 50-50 to dodge. What is that but RNG? It's a coin flip. Every move is a coin flip, essentially. Because the best teams would definitely have... Like, the best teams would probably have something like the Grave. Probably she just gets low on HP and she gets, like, plenty of dodges and more heals. And then it's just a match of, okay, let's see if I can hit now. And same thing with blinds. It's like, you blind the characters, and now it's a 50-50 chance of working. I'm not sure if there are... I haven't seen lots of good abilities to remove debuffs. It feels like abilities to remove debuffs are very limited. Like, so far, there's this one. Uh, on this miss, uh, take aim, you know, gives him a few buffs and removes blind. It only removes blind. It doesn't remove weakness, doesn't remove um, minus damage. It, it doesn't remove... Uh, what else is there, actually? I don't know, I think those are the, the debuffs that we have at the moment. It's blindness, uh, minus damage, and weakness. There might be a few more, though, if you would count maybe days. I don't know. But, yeah. It's... I'm not sure if I agree with the RNG. I mean, 100% each hit chances look great because now you can't be totally screwed out of... Um, out of, you know, a 90% hit chance and you just miss it. Like, that's not happening anymore. But... There, there's still a lot, of, a lot of RNG involved. Don't tell me there isn't because that would be a complete lie. So it's definitely not more of a chess-like game in the in what it would be in the PvP. There's definitely lots and lots of RNG still. And 
personally, I mean, <laughs> I don't know how this would actually turn out in the PvP. I mean, it would be fun for certain, but teams at the moment just just feels like it's base game. Because in Darkest Dungeon 1, there's a huge difference between the base game and the PvP. In the base game, you just run your characters, well, like I have here, right? There's gonna be a stress healer and the healer, she's gonna sit comfortably in the back. Then the other guys are gonna hammer their way into a character, and that's essentially their plan. They just hammer into a character all on their own. There's not like, okay, you're gonna mark this character, and if he gets guarded, you're gonna use your other character to stun or to break the guard or anything like that. No, he would just do damage. <laughs> your your counterplay is okay. I'm gonna focus this guy down because he's more valuable. That's uh, that's your overall skill. That's the overall skill that goes into this game. It's just picking the best characters to attack. In my opinion. You know. My opinion. Next battle, I can do two. Uh, I think we're fine. Yeah, let's play again. Am I like in a lair or something? Where, where even am I? Three battles. Okay, two arbalists. That's not very good. Two arbalists. Three. Good. Good. Ah, uh, that's vulnerable. Uh, we might drink the absinthe. Yeah, three times dodge is not bad. Uh, we'll wait until she's low on HP. I suppose. These folks have to die, like yesterday. There is comfort in company. I would use blinding gas, but again, it's a 50 50. I'd rather just clear some stress for now. Ah, oh, we failed the bleed res. Oh, we didn't actually dodge. Good. How does it go from 5 damage to 1? Don't ask me. I don't know. Let's hope that gets the bleed. Alright. And the panic targets. Oh, there's a res. Oh, he's dead next round. Oh. Oh, she's getting focused now like crazy. Them spreading the damage out doesn't really matter too much. Might have to heal this miss. Okay, he's dead, right? Yeah, totally. But soldier should be dead from the healing on this miss. Let's go into that. Take an Arbalist. Oh, of course. Why do they always resist that sword? It's it's a five. I don't get it. Literally says five. Five that still resist, but oh well. I was thinking about healing. Yeah, that's that's still better, right? Yeah, he's doing less damage. Let's just do this. Impeccably timed. Steady yourself. Of course, he gets like a crit. I think that was a crit. Oh, what do I think about the music though? I haven't mentioned the music. Uh, probably done by... Um, oh, probably done by the same... Same player, what's his name? Stuart? 
think I think he's uh, I think it's the same composer composer Stuart. I believe I believe it is. Yeah, the music is awesome. In crisis, Absolutely we can awesome. Only upon each other. Oh. Cooperation oh, is the cool. key. Empowered, emboldened. The music sounds really good. The, probably the, the soundtracks are out there already. I was stopping for a bit just to listen to the music. Yeah, I do believe once again Stuart did uh, a very good job. It's once again one of the best parts of the game. Yeah, there's a crit there. See, like that crit, it was kind of significant, but uh, the narrator didn't say much. The sound effect didn't change too much from what a normal hit would look like. You really need to work on that. Though, like, when you change the things around, and yeah. That looks nice, doesn't it? It's really nice. I could heal here. Oh, there's gonna be one more fight next. I'm guessing it's gonna be the toughest one. And we have, I haven't heard all the music in the end uh, at the moment. Final song should be by far the best, I believe. Let's heal. Probably him. And there goes my heal. <laughs> Use the absence now. Yeah, not bad. Use limit exceeded. Nice. Ah, oh, once again, he just resists that store. I have no idea how that works. He's doing less 50 damage. Yeah. Less 50%. Fight through the fatigue. Okay, he's dead. Donzo. He is Donzo. If we can still clear a bit of stress, come on. Yes, there we go. Yeah, not bad. We might be kind of low on HP, but it's yeah, it should be fine. Next rewards, plus forty percent damage. Oh, gonna need dark impulse now. And another hail rod. This is risky. I think the, this fight, yeah, it's the third fight. It's gotta be way more difficult, right? Oh, yes it is. It's the cultists. Oh my god. What did I get myself into? Cooperation is the key. This is gonna be rough. They look amazing though, don't they? Look at that. Oh no. Wow, he only did four? <laughs> Thank god, he was gonna do 17. Oh, they're, they're, oh, he removed my buffs! You bastard. You know what? I might have to do this just to stay alive. Please get that dodge. Oh, well, who do we have to kill first? I mean, the Evangelist is unbelievably strong. So is the deacon. I mean, 17 damage? Like, wow. Okay, fortunately we hit. Yeah, she just has lower amounts of HP, we need to focus her first. Her, I think. Hmm. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, that's what I mean, like, uh, she... The Evangelist had a dodge, uh, a dodge chance, and not only did we 
Why pass it all? We got to crit for 5%. Alright. The RNG is still there. Totally. Totally. Get another hit in there. Pretty much dead now. Nice. Face your confession. Get some water. Minus damage. Oh, he's close. He is close. It should die next round to the bite. Left. Yeah, there's no buffs from crits either, so you, you don't really feel them. That's what I've been trying to say. A little help, impeccably timed. Nine heal isn't very much. Oh, there's a dodge. Goodness. Two to four? Oh, minus damage from melee hits, okay. You have to get a bleed. Oh, what is that? Exalting unspeakable cosmic forces? Oh, that, that's probably gonna be very bad, isn't it? He's gonna be doing crazy amounts of damage. Yeah, I see it already. I think we're gonna take aim again. Probably need to kill this guy. There's a death blow. Good. Full and good. Let's heal this again. We only have one more heal after this one. Weight of worlds. What is that? Oh, that's too much stress. Oh my god. He needs to die. He needs to die. Holy Jesus. Hopeful. Everyone has a vaccine. Let's get him. Oh, we did not do enough damage. Ranged attacks minus damage taken. Okay, we can do this now. I think he's gonna get to act again. Please don't do that ability. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Yes, bandages. Requires him to be bleeding? Oh my god, what such bullshit. Oh, I... Hmm. Yeah, we need to do this. There's too much stress. Oh. Too much stress. <laughs> One. <laughs> oh, he might not even do enough. He's gonna act again next. Are you kidding me? She not fast enough. Two to four. Six. Okay, six, that means five HP. Five HP. No. Five HP. This does three to six. Now we have to go for this. We need to do three or four damage. God. Ah. Oh, survival on one HP. Okay, that's not terrible. <laughs> Two stress. Yeah. It's not the end of the world there. Okay. We're gonna need to do a lot of ounces of prevention. Crisis, we can rely only upon each other. Death snore. He, re he can resist a debuff from going to death door. Wow, that makes no sense. It's 
screw your blind. I don't care. Nice. Persistence will overcome. Yeah, no, str no stress heal. Threats. Killing characters. Can't use the answer of prevention just yet. We do want to use another ounce of prevention, but I don't think we'll have the opportunity. Oh. We don't dodge. Oh, might be dead. Fix. Yeah, he is. Okay, let's see if we can still go for his next round. Not really. Let's drink some alcohol. <laughs> and he's gone. Can make all the difference. Right, 25 flame from that. Wait, was that an encounter because we were low on flame? Yeah, that, that's really good though. Plus 40% damage. That's gonna be amazing on the home man. Once we get to repulse going in a different kind of team. Oh no, we can only play this team maybe. It's freaking creature. This is making him go forward. I don't know. Maybe we just move her forward or something. Over encumbered. Heavily over encumbered. I wish I could eat some food to regain, but it's not how the game works. What are we gonna ditch? We have so much good stuff. Look at this. It's insane. Okay, we have some trinkets to, to use. My god, the FPS. It's it's a struggle, isn't it? Okay. Get that. We're gonna put this here. Just so actually no, let's put that there. Even though it's not the best character for it, it's it's okay, doesn't matter. Just trying to make some space. What is this? Was resistance until next in? Nah, that's kind of trash. Mm, we do need the food. And the stress. Uh, yeah, that might be good. Might be good. She over here. Laudanum. Yeah, let's let's equip some of that laudanum and remove what we have right now. Because I'm pretty sure we got some some useless stuff here. On the combat items. Yeah, look, holy water is not helping. Stitch that. Character. Bandages did not help. Can't we merge them? Let's cap that too. Okay, goodbye. Uh, I'll probably try and use the Molotov. Healing self we keep, that's really good. Uh, this is not that good. Let's use the Molotov instead. Just one more thing. Hmm. Let's get rid of this too, Brad. Okay. Yeah, that was the pre final fight. Barely noticed. Let's get to the end. And what lies ahead. All we have to do now is reach it. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember the quote from the old road. Yeah, it should be just a safe travel towards the end. There it is.
So the question, is the game worth 30 bucks? They're charging for it. Is it worth the 30 bucks? Well, uh, it's, it's gonna improve a lot. If it isn't worth the 30 bucks for you now, it's still gonna improve a lot. But it's, it's fun. It's fun. I've been having fun with it. I've been spending a lot of time in it. Does much for the weary body. Okay, we got some quirks. Slugger or Bodica. Okay, okay. Not bad. Suffered one too many blows and noggin. Ah, oh, minus crit. When damaged, stun 15%. Oh my god. Combat start 50% days. Ah. Plus 25% flame drain. Not cool. Plus 15% chance of affinity changes. Plus affinity changes. Okay, okay. Cool. Alright, we have some stuff that we gotta do. Starters, let's clear some of that stress. We got some stuff to clear stress here. Did that on you? Did that on you? Play cards. Inseparable. Two facets of the same stone. Never one without the other. Two facets of the same stone. Shouldn't it be of the same coin? Like tooth and nail. Something like that. Same stone. Never heard that one. Let's eat up, fellas. Everyone's fed. Yeah, what's taking all this space is the, the money, isn't it? All the money in the bubbles. This is 1, 2, B, 4, 5, 6. Okay, we have some upgrades Your to do. Coach must be maintained if it is to carry you where you must go. What are relics? Oh, plus space for relics? Oh, it's only, it's only plus 8. It's all huge. Oh, but better than nothing. Okay. What's this? Books. Bubbles. Oh, that's like a Vestal Tome there. This is really good. Okay, let's go buy some stuff. Mastery Trainer. Three points to use? Holy crap. Okay. Let's... Let's, let's, let's... We've been using this a lot, but... It's... I mean, it's okay. Okay. Take game is actually pretty good. Two crits. Not bad. Yeah, okay. We need to improve panic darts. Poison darts, sorry. <laughs> yeah, poison dart. So it's better now. Much, much better. A hellion. Could improve if it bleeds. Hmm. Oh, the hell yeah. You know what we could do? We could use... Toe-to-toe. -to -toe, which removes... What is that? What is that thing? Winded? Yeah. Winded. It's just... This ability isn't that good. It's like a taunt on herself. I would let us use Duelist Advance though. Let's do that. So this is gonna let us use Duelist Advance. Which is gonna be great. Because now it's gonna have three reposts and one dodge. So Duelist Advance is really good right now. And the way repost here works here isn't that it works by like turns. It's not gonna last like two turns. What happens is it has a number of reposts that you can get out of the ability. Win at least three resistance encounters or visit three academic studies. I'd much rather have 250 hope. Let's go to another country. City. Another inferno of mutilation. Journey onward. Madness.
the sprawl. Oh, this is the hamlet that's like burning. Everything's on fire. Behold, the great city. Oh, we have to visit man. academic studies. Ruined. Ooh. And a flame. We spotted everything. Was... Okay. Next in. Go back a bit. We need to visit three academic studies. So we're gonna start off by going left, then here, and then we need to end up here on this watchtower. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Go left. Oh, they want to go to the Euro Shrine. Well, me too. But now we gotta get some hope. We have a lot of stress. We have a lot of stress. Academic studies are kind of messed up because you can fight the Shambler in them, I think. And I do not want to fight the Shambler while my characters are sitting at 4 and 5 stress. At least. The FPS is way, way better right now, though. That's good. A place of research and inquiry. A monument to a once prestigious career. This is no time for fiction or fantasy. It smells like must and cockroaches. Okay. Well, at least we visited it. Next, we're gonna go to another economic study. Also, no fights along the way, so it's just killing. Totally chilling. Also, since Dark Dungeon 2 is out, where is that gonna leave us in regards to the Butcher's Circus? Well, sit next to me at the inn, would you? Oh, is there a romance happening between these two, actually? <laughs> oh, they're friendly. They're friendly. Maybe they go amorous next. Yeah, where's that? Oh. Okay, FPS back to normal. Yeah, where is that gonna leave us in terms of Butcher's Circus? Well, after I finish the game, uh, after I finish Dogger's Dungeon 2, which we'll try to do uh, as well as we possibly can, I'll try to beat the final boss. There should be a final boss. I have no idea what it is. I have no clue how many bosses there are. But what it is. Okay. There are certain angles that offer glimpses of the future. Minus 10 torch, plus 1 telescope, plus dress. A random quirk. Uh, let's do it. Even though it's bad because minus 10 torch sucks. What did we get? Oh, we get to see everything. Destiny will not be denied. Okay. Okay, cool. Well, we kind of had it all spotted anyway, but what did you get? You got head injury? At least tell me she didn't get head injury. It's her, isn't it? I knew someone had a head injury from before. Oh, she got head injury as a perk. As a quirk. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, well, this encounter is messed up. As a, as a fight. Oh, let's go to the hospital and we can... What can we cure at the hospital, actually? I think we can cure uh, quirks. Yeah, I think we can cure quirks at the hospital. Let's give that a go. Now look at the FPS though. Much, much smoother. There's a resistance encounter along the way, but that, that's alright. Also, where's the academic study? Here. There. No, it's not a resistance encounter, it's like a fight. We really, really need to clear some stress. It Let's hope this fight is indeed. not too tough. Profit in destruction. Come on, first fight can't be too tough, right? Ah, it's it's okay. Let's uh, let's do this. Oh, six damage and lots of white. Good. No, let me use my prevention. No, the Hellion had to go first. Three. 
Did we improve say came? We didn't, did we? Slaughtered them himself. Put up minus stress. Oh, right, let's just do this. <laughs> Look at those buffs. No, she days herself. Ah. Wow, there go there goes the boss. Did the hit for him. Wait, did she? I don't know. Stumbling and stupefied. <laughs> she stunned herself. Oh my god, that is that has to be the worst thing ever. Holy crap. You stun yourself when you get hit. 15% chance, by the way. There is comfort in Jeez. Company. Five rounds. I don't think we're gonna make it. Stunned. <laughs> and dazed for next round. Yeah. He's kind of out of the game already. We could Iron Swan here, actually. Four damage. Good, good dodge, good dodge. Fullest advance should do a lot now. 14? Wow! And three reposts? Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. It seems looking amazing. This Harman is strong. Oh, that's annoying. So they do stress when they do crits, but I don't get to heal stress when I do crits. Gotcha. It is. Good. Poison darts. Really strong. Good, good, good. Do it again. Might be dead. Yeah, he is. Yeah, that's what he is. Uh, should we use all of them again? Oh, he's gonna die before she gets sacked. I wanted to clear some more stress. Yeah, that's okay. The means of mastery. Plus mastery. The memes of mastery. <laughs> Get to the hospital and clear that stupid Astan thing. We have lots and lots of money. We should be able to clear everything we want to. Field hospital. Ill characters? No, that's unnecessary. Okay. Her. Wellness. Head injury. A combat start. Days. Uh, how much? 16? Okay. C. Pharmacy. Riyadh. Hmm. Wellness. Head injury, pretty bad. Fussy eater is okay. Yeah, we could get rid of that as well. But we really need to get rid of this one. This is a must. Even the worst habits can be overcome. Daredevil. Uh, it's not the end of the world. What happens if I click this? Switch? No, 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 don't switch. Stopped. When damaged, 15% chance of blind. That's really bad. Hmm, Tucker's out is... It's not terrible. Let's get rid of head injury. We need no 
cannot be defined by our shortcomings. Let's get rid of Tucker out, I guess. We have so much money anyway. Can be overcome. Sell this to you. Oh. Alright, goodbye, Field Hospital. Pharmacy. Have a look at the map. We can go towards. We need to go to the academic study, so. We can either go towards the cache. Towards the resistance encounter. Here there's a fight, here there isn't one. Well, let's go towards. What do they want to do? Well, they all want to go towards the cache, so. Let's go toward the cache. Yeah, this really matters a lot. What kind of decisions you make. So it's not totally based around what you want to do. You should also look at what the characters want to do. Because it's important. Right under the bridge. Frenzied enemies. What does that do? Oh, plus damage. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. Lots of prevention. Feel that stress here. Okay, okay. It's barely any damage now. We're gonna do take aim first because, yeah, we're stuck in position one. I guess he's just faster than the Hellion. He's gonna do a lot of damage to my Grave Robber. Ooh. Okay. He hit him and she hit back. Way to bleed. Nice. Stumbling and stupefied. At least they didn't knock her back. Hey, there's a notch. Yeah, she's immobilized. Can't knock her back. Mm, we could just kill this guy. Okay, he's done for. Almost, almost. Should be a kill. Look at that damage. <laughs> Doesn't go forward because she's immobilized in position one. Get this fight. Oh. Well, we'll heal her with Plague Doctor. Well, no worries. Empowered, emboldened. Doing more damage now. Wanna let him act. So I'm just gonna do this. The smallest variable can make all the difference. Oh bad decision, mate. You're going down. Gives him dodge when he uses it. It's brutal. And there he goes. The fight is over and they keep buffing each other. Wow. The team is, is strong right now. The team is looking insane. I can't wait until I do like a few more upgrades. This mess is gonna improve uh, uh, that thing he does at the start, like take shot or aim shot. Academics cash. Lots of stuff, lots of stuff. Oh, not great though. Go to each one. Yeah, doesn't really matter. If 
go to either one, I mean, proper English. A waking nightmare. Yeah, they're all pretty much at full HP. Mm -hmm. Stress is looking okay. Yep, all good. All's well that ends well. Let's see what this fight is all about. I don't think we've actually fought any specific enemies here. Brings no satisfaction. These are the specific enemies, the fanatics. Lago sharp. Arch charge. Lots of few relics to save on bloodshed. A save on bloodshed, Dismas. You do not sound like yourself. Respectful. Tried and tested. Good. I think that's the three uh, virtues we have now. Frenzied enemies. Oh, that's not good. Why? Is the torch low? Yeah, it is. You're getting advantages. Um, the shaman is really strong. Oh, she gets to go first this time. Alright. Look at all these buffs. Well struck. Oh, if, she, if they had voice acting, now that would be something else. Eyes closed. Just a blind. There is comfort in company. It's gonna give us bleed res, fire res, it's all healing stress. Nice. I think we're gonna blight the shaman. He's just dead. Ooh, teamwork. Wow. Yeah, see, it's, it's what I'm saying. Look at this. Once you get them all to work together as a team, like, wow, they just function. A miscalculation, perhaps. Like, I'm gonna have to be honest. What they did best in this game is the freaking virtues. Like, they just work very well with each other. They just feel good to see the virtues work. Tolerant. Oh, that's not good. Hey, it's not good for us. <laughs> what if we use a firebomb? Oh, it is gonna kill that guy. I was wishing the Molotov cocktail would do like a big explosion with fire, but I guess not. It's probably, um, let's do this. Pretty much means it's almost dead. He has that triple repost. That's gonna hurt, yeah. A brilliant conclusion. Whoa. Look at that. He's dead, isn't he? Nice himself. Now he's doing way more. Kind of a hound's hairy. Yeah. Slow <laughs> begins. Yeah, there's stress, there's a debuff, and there's uh, like DOT. Kind of a hound's hairy. He gets to go again, he's fast. Slow suffering begins. And he's gone. Wow, he survived. Oh, never mind. Experience. Never mind. Is the greatest teacher of plus all. fire res, plus scout chance. An item, high chance of improving affinity. Good. The loathing whispers. 
Oh, whispers went down. I still don't know what that does, honestly. Our watchtower is not doing anything for us here because we've already scouted everything. Nice. They're all they're they're all doing great. We've done a good job at making them all stay healthy mentally and physically. The fog is parted. Our way is made clear. Yeah, we already knew all, all of that, but ahead, I guess now we just know it a bit better. Of our regrettable research. Is this a fight already? Yeah, it is. Oh, I do love one. I, I was just thinking about the songs again. There are there is one of them which I really love. I don't quite remember where it plays now, but it just goes like da 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 da. Shep singing the uh, the Ulster of Darkest Dungeon. It's like da 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 da. Then it gets like deeper and then it moves back up. I think it's actually the one with the fanatics that we were just playing. I need to have a look at it. It's not this one uh, that's playing right now. Though so this one is not bad itself. Go toe to toe, so we can use that repost. Now we. In crisis. Oh no, it is this one. It's like da -da 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 -da. Cooperation is the key. Yeah. That sounds really cool. Not sure if you can hear the song perfectly well, as well as I can hear it, but it does sound epic. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say the game is worth it. <laughs> the game is definitely worth it. I, I would get it. I mean, I did get it, but I, I would get it again. Uh, he should be dead, right? He misses, and then next round he's gone. So instead, I'm gonna go for this one. Oh, there's a res. Well struck. Good. 14. Wow. A promising development. Just wow. This this uh, this hard man is insane. Let's hope he misses. There we go. Yeah, now, now he's done for. We would pretty much be dead if we had bites. Also, we may have done a bit of a mistake there. It would have been better to just confirm the kill on the, the hatchetman. But, oh, well, I guess that works. <laughs> that definitely works. We still have two reposts. We could just kill him. What's his speed for? What's hers? Four as well. Uh, we might go first next round. Now let's just finish him off. Crisis, no gain is insignificant. Playing cards, good. You can never get your affinities high enough. You can always get higher. We're moving towards academic studies, I think. There might be a shambler. If there's a shambler, I'm fighting it. 100%. No doubt I'm gonna fight it. Our torch flickers. Relationship is tested. Who is it? Can't see. Oh, respectful. Tried and tested. Alright. A bond to be counted on. 
yeah, let's have a look at the relationships. I think everyone's doing just fine. So, she's respectful towards the grave robber. Uh, hopeful, respectful, neutral. And respectful. Yeah, we're, we're doing good. We're doing good. With this relation, that's not doing so great. But overall, we're doing just fine. We're doing just fine. Now, why do you not want to let the stress get too high? Uh, once your stress goes to 10, you get... Not a heart attack, you get a meltdown. And what the meltdown does is it puts you on 10% HP, I think, and reduces your stress by a lot, but it reduces your affinity with other characters by like 3 each. And 3 each is a lot. Reducing affinities means that like if it's the yellow, it's gonna go back, and if it's like neutral, it's gonna go up a lot on the blue side. Which is not great. Okay, what is this? Random quirk. Break it down already. Let's let's see what discovery awaits us. Wait, why does it say minus stress here and there it says plus stress? Let's go for this one. Break it down. Oh, she got breacher! Wait, that's terrible. I think that's terrible. Wait, does that mean she's gonna go forward when, when the match starts? That's really bad. Oh no, that is horrible. Oh my god, if she goes forward, the entire team is gonna be messed up. Oh, we could go to the cultist encounter, but we're, we're just gonna ignore it. Oh no, no, let's go to the hero shrine. Let's go to the hero shrine. Let's prove our characters. Okay, we need to do that. Improve the grave robber. Give her your more abilities. Actually, we're going to do it on the Hellion, because I think she's missing a really core ability. A new one, actually. Yeah, she could definitely use uh, some more abilities. Plus two! Plus two on there. Nice. The world comes on. One stress, but who cares? Hasten. Whoa, what is this? The giant? Urchin. It's in plus speed. Yeah. We're gonna go for those every time. Song of Shadows. Rift and. and still. Mm -hmm. Oh, she went forward indeed. <laughs> oh, that is. that is not ideal. That is really not ideal. Like, at all. I mean, I guess two blocks is nice, but yeah, that is not ideal. <laughs> They're all taunting. I think we should kill her. She's quite low HP. She could use incision. I actually do a lot of damage. Wouldn't that be funny? Oh, she's actually doing more damage than the Hellion. Protect the child. Oh, that doesn't matter. She's gonna die to blight. Good fool. Steady yourself. Oh. Oh, that is that is messed up. And that was useless. Look at the damage. Are of the toy. Oh, the Hellion is getting focused now. It is not good. Need to use like Laudanum on her. Yeah, we have Laudanum. Nice. Paid off. 
12. Nice flight. Yeah, he's taking some damage. 16 to 4. <laughs> Just insane. The slow suffering begins. He should die to the the bite. Oh, he does have some death flurries. Might not. Does she? No, she doesn't. Uh, well, this is. Use the water now again. Let's use it on him. The music. Just wow. Music in this prowl is really good. Stealing my glory, eh? Oh. Not cool, man. Not cool. Oh, that actually did clear stress. Okay, okay. And this is gonna clear stress as well. She's down to three. And the key. The end. In crisis, we right. can rely only upon each other. Perfect. More Waldenum. Oh, Waldenum is actually really good in this game. Clear stress. Over encumbered. You must equip or discard items. I can't see anything. I'm blind. There it is. I've been blinded. Ah, uh, this one's pretty good. Pipe weed. Look at that. It's useless. Oh, that was because there was like something standing in the way. We haven't done any assistance encounters. The torch is super low. We might run into a fight. Which could be the shambler. We might run into a shambler. Line of reflection. Let's do the hellion this time. Chapter 1. The Eve of Glory. She was young to join the war band, but any who challenged her readiness were met with clenched fists and violent indignation. Having bloodied the last of her detractors, the matter was considered finally settled. On the eve of battle, she joined her clanmates in a raucous celebration, her stein and her spirits overflowing with abundance. Alright. Cool, cool. What did she get? What's that? Bleed out? Bleed out. Target 4 wins herself. Not bad if she's in position 1. Winded is like a debuff that she does on herself. She can clear with some kind of ability, but... It's a damage debuff, as well as minus speed, I think. Something of the sort. We go to this assistance encounter, hopefully get the torch back up. Desperate few. Let's see what we can do. Form up and push, plus torch. Uh, 15 is not a lot, let's be honest. Plus 30 torch, if we give them our relics. And they give us of stuff. You know what? Scavenge what you can. This should be okay. And be off once more. Get rid of the slimy food. Yeah, it's because we don't have lots of space anyway to take what they what they give us, so 
Let's just do it that way. Mm, we should go to... Whoa, whoa, hang on. They're all saying to the encounter. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they do not want to go to a cultist fight right now. They so strong. Where are we? I'm confusion. We're here. Okay. Here. Inventory full. Yeah. It's alright. Back down to 11 torch. The burning pile, the fanatics. Daggers sharp. Let's get them from behind. What did they get? Move. Hmm. That fell. We fly at them driven by desperation. Debuff. Let's see what this one does. Debuff and move. Oh, it's just two, two big boys. There's the Reacher. Can I say? Moving her forward. I don't think there's anything I can do about it. Anything at all. I might still just use Ounce of Prevention against the... Um, the fire, as well as clearing some stress here. Cooperation is the key. In crisis, we can rely yeah, that's, only upon each that's, other. That's doing nothing. Give our box. Yeah. Plague Doctor is a tank now. <laughs> I can see why they were saying that uh, Breach is so freaking good. Breacher. Look at the boss it gives you. This brutal. Delorant. Carry yourself well. Ooh, plus damage. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh. She really has a lot of respect for the alien. Let's see. I'm doing plus damage, right? Uh, yeah, let's kill this guy. Dodge. Oh, that one hurts. Guess you go twice. Oh, this is gonna be kind of overkill. Yeah. Actually, not. It's not even a kill. Incision death blow. Let's go. It's gonna accelerate again. Let's do this just so we can do our repost. And actually hit uh, position 3. She is gonna do that on herself, right? She's totally fine. She's still doing more damage. Uh, only four. That's the effort that counts. Ouch, ouch, ouch. ouch. Accelerate again. Oh, he gets to act three times in one fight? Okay, dude. There. Haha, <laughs> do it, I dare you. <laughs> you fool. Let my Plague Doctor act, please. Please don't do 8 damage. Oh, 
Alien is gonna go last either way, so we can just do this. Yeah. Now Plague Doctor acts, gets a nice heal in there. Clearing the flames and now almost. Oh, it should be a kill. Hey, there we go. Yeah, the blight should be a kill. Oh, and we clear. Oh, blight didn't kill him. Bring some alcohol. Nah, no, just think finish it off. Throw the dagger, see what it looks like. Nice. By confronting the past, we learn to face the future. Positive boxing gloves. Hmm. Doesn't look too terrible. Probably gonna have to get rid of some stuff now. The loathing yeah, we did. Uh, minor wolf spot. One speed. One speed is uh, not important. Same with that. It is not very important. Let's see, where do you guys want to go? Go to the hoarder? The rest of y'all, where do you want to go? It's only Audrey that wants to go to the hoarder. Let's see if we can buy some, some stuff, like a dark impulse or something. That would be very pleasant. Because you can mix that with the trinket that we already have and like plus 40% damage, can you imagine that? On the Harman. man. He's doing en enough dam damage already, he's gonna be doing even more. She Infectious doesn't mean disease, world. even though I the thought it did, and it salvation. means that they have more bleed chance, I think. Oh, what are these buffs? What are those buffs, man? Absent. Whoa, Antiquarian, what are you doing here? You're on the wrong side. Protect me. Oh, she has the same abilities. It's on their side now. It's 30 HP, by the way. No way. Oh, you? Oh my god, that is, that is brutal, actually. He's too strong right now. Nice. Nice. Two ounce of prevention. Lots of value out of it. No more bleeds. In crisis, we can rely only upon each other. Empowered, emboldened. I feel like the wicked slice might do just enough to kill him. Oh, well. There's another guard. Ah. What are you gonna do now? Festering papers? Like in the circus? Are you kidding me? She's like in the circus. She's not like in the base game. She's like in the circus. Oh my god. She's really strong. Nice. Love it. Uh, we good. Who's next? Him. Go act first. Bastard. He resists. Okay, this is not good. Freaking antiquarians out here carrying their entire team. A little help impeccably timed. Yeah, that's a kill. On to the next. No longer guarded. Oh, she's gonna use the guard again. Moves him forward as well. Interesting. 
there's invigorating vapors. So they're like her servants. I mean, the way they're putting their heads down. Ah, too much, too much. This isn't a very good ability, it just removes that. You're moving two? It's not bad, I suppose. Cooperation is the key. A little help impeccably timed. Kind of a difficult fight. I can I get the bike now? There we go. An unavoidable end. Nice damage. Yeah, he's done. This is protect me again. Yeah, that's, that's okay. The smallest variable. Can yeah. make all the it's difference. Twice. Flash powder. Oh, it's a daze now. Seize now one more time. Impeccably timed. No, I will not allow this. In crisis, we can rely only upon each other. Wow, nice trip. Another crit. He's going mad. There is comfort in company. Alright, the festering vapor now. There you. We can use it next fight if we really have to. She might just be dead from the blight. Yeah, she is. Oh, no, she has that sort of resistance. Watch. How much does she have? 25. Enough. You're going down. She resists. Imagine if she had take cover like the antiquarian as well. Buffing her death blow resistance. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Incision kill. <laughs> nice. The means of mastery. Plus mastery. Plus sunrise. Ten percent. There's a lot of water abilities that stun anyway. Doesn't really matter too much. We can ditch it. Yeah, let's ditch them. Very digital trinkets. What trinkets do we have at the moment, actually? I, I really don't know. Let's look into trinkets. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Make you immune to fire. Eventually. You. Mm -hmm. that. That's pretty good. Yep, not bad. Yeah, Blight Race isn't helping us too much here, but it's okay. Also, we have so many bubbles. 164. There better be something good at the order. Something great. I need me more bubbles. Team is doing so well, aren't they? They're doing so, so well. Get to the border. Yeah, there we go. 
Give us... Give us loot. Loot cash money. What's this? Iron Man only. Gain on miss. Crit. You don't really want to miss though, right? The trinket only works if you're missing. I don't know if I like that. What's this? Ah, boss resistance. Trinkets, okay. Oh, oh. oh well, boss speed is not bad. Could be useful. Yeah, yeah nothing great, really. Reduces flapjacks. Everybody likes flapjacks. I don't know what a flapjack is, but... Wait, is that, is that like cookies? Is it producing cookies? Okay, I want that. <laughs> it's ours now. Reduces flapjacks. Maybe it gives us like stress heals every once in a while. Or something. That would be pretty funny. You should have just given us what we wanted. Well, we did. After we paid for it, of course. We're lucky to have you. Is that going to be a, a virtue? Another respectful. Why aren't they respectful already? Did they lose it? Oh. oh, did the flame just go up from that? Oh no, it's at five. <laughs> Never mind. Alright, final fight incoming. Oh no. We're at zero. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 50% chance of enemy battle advantage. Yeah. Great. No fight incoming. Oblivion's rampart. Respite within reach. At last. Infectious enemies. Oh, that's really bad with these fire boys. Three fights. The flame spreads. Yeah, oh, this is also stolen from Aratus, <laughs> the enemy idea. Well, we'll see if it if it happens uh, this match, probably not. Wow. Isn't he just dead? Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, he is. Just dead. Go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the flare. He's going in a miss. Wow, we could have missed that, but instead we do plenty of damage. Fellas, give me just a second, I'll be right back. I just need like half a minute. I'll be fast. Actually, let's let them act. Let's just do the ounce of prevention. No, I'll be right back. Right, fellas, I have returned, my family had arrived, and uh, yeah, I just had to take a little breather to go and greet them. Alright, he's gone. Yeah, I don't even see what kind of attack uh, they did while I left, so probably nothing special. Incision damage. Oh, 4 to 9 rolls for 4, come on. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll explain what this thing does. I mean, I don't, I don't think the it's gonna get to actually act, do what it's uh, do what it wants to do. But what the sacrificial guy does is, when he gets to the front, he does like a big explosion to all your characters, kind of like how the demolition experts in Eratus like moved forward by one each round, and then when they got to the front, they, they would just go into a stance and explode. Exactly like this guy. What can I say? Now it's good that uh, developers like take ideas from each other. Because, yeah, I did enjoy playing both games. Both were really fun. Should probably stop mentioning it. There, there's the Hans Harry. I can't do the ounce of prevention, fortunately. Mm -hmm. Wow. There we go. That's better. That's all you like to see. Also, another thing. The corpses are very generic. I don't know if there's a reason for it, like a, a war reason. But the corpses look very, very generic. In my opinion. In our path. Next battle. I'm, I'm pretty sure the last battle should have a good trinket or something for us. So let's go for it. Why did we just heal? Maybe because we cheated, we shifted battles? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, maybe, maybe, baby. A missed chance there. Immolatist is really strong. Superficials. Mm. Go for the Immolatist. No, she got to go second. Guess you can do this. Get the damage. It's insane. The flame spreads. Yeah, that's pretty strong. The Hellion really isn't being that all that useful, is she? Yeah. What can I say? Poor little Hellion. Boo hoo. Of a waste of damage there, but who confirms are good. And she's probably done. <laughs> yeah, look at that blight. Goodness. The flame spreads. Oh. Oh yeah, they can do that with corpses. Oh. Annoying. Oh, he has a repost now. Those noises though. Those freaking noises. Oh, let's do this. The ounce of prevention. Emboldened. She's fine. Also, we're gonna have to focus him down now, actually. A breakthrough. She's dead next round. Steady yourself. Ow. 
before she not before she gets to do that though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I really need to heal this alien. Twenty-five to hit. Oh. A miscalculation, perhaps. Now the repulse to the burn as well. Yes, again like that. Miss again. <laughs> Extinguished at last. Ooh. They're, they're becoming friendly. I tip my hat to you when one gentle lady to another. A gentle lady. Ow. We'll heal its play, Doctor. No worries. Oh, my dodge. Empowered. Emboldened. Now he's dead in two rounds. I might do that. Because the next fight's gonna be more difficult, you know. Oh, he's done for. No one can stand against us. A slow dissection. There he goes. End. Next fight gives us plus 40% max HP. Oh, I want that so hard. I want that 40%. We just need to get the Dark Impulse Trinket. A <laughs> gargantuan enemies against the Deacon? Yeah. Yeah, that is. That is just beautiful. Gargantuan enemies is plus HP. Plus max HP. How much HP does he have? Oh, that is. It's too much, man. Too, 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 too much. Yeah. That's quite the final fight. Need to kill the evangelist still. I think this guy is more important. Even then. Dance of prevention. In crisis, we can rely only upon each other. Cooperation is the key. Ow. Too stress. Range attacks minus damage. Lead chance is okay. Nice. Taking some pain. Ah. Yeah, that hurts. That's why we're focusing him down. He's doing plus damage. That's ranged attacks. Four to nine. Crit. 
taking so much damage. Ooh, yeah, an inspiration. A breakthrough. Okay, he should be done now. And he's still gonna get one more action, but after that he should be done for. Ooh, we dodge. Yeah, that's that's powerful. Next attack's a crit. Actually, oh, oh, not doing enough. We're not doing enough just yet. Let's do a bit more. Fine. And then there's gonna be the death door thing. Jeez. <laughs> we didn't get the blight. No, it's not enough. Not enough. Isn't enough. Wow. I have a, I have a plan. Wait, she's immobilized. Oh. oh, oh. Can't use that thing twice to go forward. Okay, gotcha. gotcha. Hmm. Do you heal? Attack. Think. Maybe heal. At least that's two tokens gone with one miss. Oh no. Do we have a crash? Oh, not quite. Worship? Yeah, gives him more power, I think. He's doing less damage now, though. Thank goodness. This ignores death blow res. Um. Great death blow doesn't remove corpse. There is comfort in company. A miscalculation, perhaps. That's a lot of stuff. Dealt with. Steady yourself. Level crit. Oh, she had the things for the crit, yeah. Okay. Still hurt a lot. Do some damage to the sheriff. Dissection. An unavoidable end. She's not looking too good. A little help impeccably timed. Nice. Yeah, our team's gonna come out of this like kinda tattered, not gonna lie. Ooh, that helps. Helps a lot. The slow suffering begins. Hmm. Nice. Ooh, teamwork. 
slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Wow. Yeah, look at all these virtues doing virtue th the virtue stuff. Bleed should kill. No. I think he might be too fast for us. No, he isn't. Got him. No blight. In crisis, we can Oops. rely only upon each other. There we go. One less obstacle in our path. Nice. What is that? Strength plus five speed. Hmm. Well, yeah, this is really good. Plus forty percent max HP. You don't know. Most of our healing now stacks. I mean, it scales on max HP. The loathing. That could be abates. potentially amazing. We are gonna ditch this. The holy water. Oh, this it's not that good. Anti venom. Everything else stays. Now it's just a way to the inn. Where we'll get our characters back in shape. Everywhere the world comes undone. Oh, stress on this one is all looking too good. We're gonna have to clear some of that away. If possible. Here we are. Darkest dungeon looming in the distance. Hummer, a hum for every occasion. Hmm. Realist. Realistically speaking, everyone dies. Party HP less than 25%. Turn start. 15% chance to die, 15% chance to die. Okay. Okay. It's not great, but it's not terrible. The Winking Thief. Remote yet remarkably well provisioned. Donations for your cause. Really? Thank you very much. Planning and mindfulness, as vital to survival as sharpened steel. Experimentation. Your academic instincts serve you well. Riddle. Any advantage is a good thing. I might actually just ditch, ditch. Ditch, ditch, ditch. Well, this one's pretty good. Would I rather have this or this? Uh, I mean, four storage is, is plenty. Yeah, this is, this isn't that good. Just ditch all this. In items, we're about to use them. Trinkets. Let's get rid of this. This is trash. Items and yeah. That's that's terrible. Right, everything else is here. Let's Learn go to the mastery trainer. Taught. Six points. Holy stand crap. Just a little taller at Let's the go over here to the provisioner. Combat items. No. Spend what you no. can. For wealth no longer has meaning. If indeed it ever did. Let's get a hail drought. Not terrible. Such power. In such a little thing. Yeah. Yeah, looks like we're not gonna be buying lots of stuff. There's a pipe weed. You could buy a pipe weed. We'll see if we need it. Alright, everyone. Time to chill out for a bit. Let's go into in items. First things first, we're gonna reduce some stress.
<laughs> Let's look at the relationships. What are they looking like? Wow, he's almost perfect. This needs a bit more. Also needs a bit more. It needs a bit more. Wow. All almost perfect. Flame card should finish this on. Hopeful. Most of them actually got blue. Okay. Another relationship. I hear good sounds. Respectful. Tried and tested. A bond to be counted on. So that means that everyone's relationships are pretty much perfect. Alright, that is that is goals. That's a life goal right there. Let's use this again. Two targets. Okay. How are, how are we doing now? Oh, it got way worse. Went down by three. Okay, we gotta fix Grave Robber and Hellion. Grave Robber cheated. Wait, no, 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 no. Okay. It's a bit better. Yeah, no. Ah, uh, this one's stress. Oh, they. That wasn't good. It was blue. Oh, unlucky. Ah, it's okay. Everyone's chilling. Everyone's chilling. No worries. Food. 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 And a bit more food here. No food for you, you're healthy. Don't need any food. Yeah, we're 18 out of 33. Mainly because we just have so many freaking baubles. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So many baubles, I can't count them. 157. That's a lot of baubles. Mastery trainer. Quickly when survival demands it. Mastery trainer. Let's see. He could improve Wicked Slice. That's an idea. He could improve... Take Aim. That's a really good idea as well. I'll also get her. Mm -hmm. Absinthe. Improving Absinthe sounds pretty fun. But it's overall not doing too much for us because it's not a, an ability that we use very much anyway. Happens if we... Oh, that's already improved. Jeez. Could improve if it bleeds. Or what? Oh, we could hack. It's just, it's not improving a lot, you know. It really sucks. Lots of prevention, that's already great. This is increasing the heal from 20 to 25%. So, plus lots of healing. You know what? I like lots of healing. That's improved. Dude also improved Noxious Blast, but I feel like she's a better support here. Uh, I think the Highman needs some upgrades. We're gonna do Take Aim. We're gonna upgrade that, and we're gonna use it, as well as Wicked Slice, because both of them are doing great. Next, we're gonna... Yeah, probably improve Wicked Hack, though it's kind of a Mediocre ability. Can't improve something twice, right? Yeah. Not yet, at least. If it bleeds. Yeah, you know what? Why not? We're using it sometimes. If it bleeds, has been improved. Absinthe could be great now as well. Could be even better than what it is. Or we could go for Noxious Blast, but play Doctors to support. Let's get Absinthe. 
or things alcohol select root we have two choices the feature or the tangle in front helping hand we'll go here because i don't really like the tangle it's very fps heavy however we're not gonna go here today we're gonna go here another day because for now i must take my leave so i hope you guys enjoy this i'll be back on this probably tomorrow to have another good run at it i don't know when the final boss is i'm just gonna keep trying to purge my way through these dungeons so yeah see you guys next time once again hope you enjoy this and uh stay awesome cheers <laughs>